use our imaginations to conceive of things that we might become, that we don't have any other way of talking about in relationship to our body. And when you think about genetic science, genetic engineers can create new types of bodies by splicing DNA. What would these types of bodies look like? For some artists, the bodies that we can create in the future actually seem to echo the images of animals and humans combined that we have seen in fairy tales or the, or the composite monsters that we see in something like Frankenstein. This idea that the literature of the past can merge with an interest in the biological present and the future in order to help us understand who we are is really the foundation for this exhibition. One of the first artists chosen was the Australian artist Patricia Piccinini whose sculpture, The Long Awaited, shows a young boy kind of snuggling up with a manatee-like grandmother figure. And Patricia is interested in the genetic future, but she uses imagery that makes you think of mermaids or centaurs, ancient Greek composite beings. And so that was really the trigger for me to look for other artists, artists like Saya Wolfock, who imagines a kind of a plant and animal hybrid as a way of symbolizing the culture or Kiki Smith, who looks at fairy tales as something that contains a moral lesson, not just for children, but also for adults. I think it's really interesting to watch people's responses to these grotesque creatures. We've always been sort of fascinated, I think, by grotesquerie throughout human history, and so we want to turn away, but at the same time, we really want to look, we really want to understand what it is about these creatures, these repulsive, scary-looking creatures that we find so compelling. And for the artists in this exhibition, the point really is that these are not real. These are not actual monsters. The monsters are all something that we have created in order to embody the things that we most fear. And so the whole point behind that, I think, fascination and repulsion is that these are all simply imaginary. These are all simply inventions and it becomes really interesting to see how it is that we invent some sort of imagery to express our fears or in other, other parts of the exhibition to express our hopes and wishes.